a genius or a madman? The plane crashed into the back garden. The genius scientist that nuclear war broke out. Immediately took the pregnant wife to the shelter. They lived here for 35 years. Early 60s of last century. America and the Soviet Union Cold War. Nuclear war could break out at any moment. Scientists had planned early. He sneaked a large underground shelter space on top of the ground. Inside to keep essential items for 35 years. Saw news President Kennedy declared. The Cuban missile base was officially destroyed. He found himself so predictable. The gentle wife always found this strange. But for son, she couldn't take the risk. The wife's mood was too bad. She was born prematurely. A boy was born smoothly. The couple named the baby was Adam. Because they saw they may be the last. Dot. This scientist was very money. In the shelter space. Phones, phonographs, even a Christmas tree. He also created a small aquarium to keep fish. Growing greens in temperate boxes. The wife shopping in the pantry. They were like normal parents. Give their child the best education. Teach Adam physics, math, German, French. Teaching boxing, jumping, and skating. Although in the basement. But their lives were no different than people on the surface. 35 years have passed like that. When Adam became a handsome handsome man. That day the countdown ends. Finally the shelter space door opened. Life in captivity ends. The couple both cheered. Danced. Fun like a child. The mother just wanted to go to the ground. She was about to get sick from life in the basement. But the scientist was still full of vigilance with life outside. We wait for night. Oh shit. They never taught Adam such profanity. Could only tell him. Shit means friendliness in ancient grammar. Well. well shit. For safety. Scientists went out to check first. He wore a radiation-proof vest and took the elevator outside. The exterior had changed markedly. The rich old-fashioned house has turned into ruin. What he saw was filthy and messy. Melcher mistook him for God. The wanderer picked up food scraps and the man dressed in women's clothing. He found the outside really too scary. Even bisexual people appeared. Everyone had had a genetic mutation from the radiation of nuclear war. He immediately returned to the basement. Tell his wife and children. The situation outside was very bad. He even told Adam to cover his ears. Didn't expect him to hear these obscene words. He wanted to continue to stay in the basement. But his wife was really tired of the boring basement life. She wanted Adam to see the sky, the sea, the top of the mountain. When they argued, scientists suddenly had a heart attack. But the furniture was used up. Had to go out to buy. Adam took up his courage. The scientist hastily instructed him to stay away from the adult furniture store. Don't let the idea of lewd stain his pure soul. When Adam was on the ground, Melcher thought he was a saint again. Do you forgive me for my wasted life? Everything has been so awful. Adam graciously comforted him. He was getting out of this place. For the first time he saw the vast sky. His joy made passers-by. Something special appeared in the sky. What? What is it? The sky! I have never in my life seen anything like it before! Or like you! He went to the supermarket to buy things. Detecting a sharp increase in prices. Large denomination notes 10 years ago. Couldn't buy anything now. While sad. He saw a store that was buying baseball cards. Just when she bring a box. This man grew up in the shelter from a young age. Just got out into a rich man. Baseball cards in his hand 30 years ago. Prices increased several dozen times. A box of baseball cards worth a million dollars. But he didn't know. The greedy shop owner wanted to buy it again for $500. Adam also felt a bit happy. Seeing the stupid guy. The female staff couldn't take it anymore. She exposed her boss. He was so angry that he immediately fired her. Adam sorry her. She didn't pay much attention. Her name was Eve. Adam Eve. Their names match well. In fact. Adam just met fell in love with Eve. Because wanted to talk more with her. He asked Eve for help. Hope she could help him find accommodation. But Eve was very wary. She was afraid this man had bad intentions towards her. Hurried away. Adam apologized again. Also guaranteed to donate a baseball card to thank. Having money without earning was a fool. Eve took him to a high class hotel. He lived in a room on the 18th floor. When he pulled out the curtains. He was scared of his soul. For the first time he looked down from such a high place. Tomorrow. Eve regretted. She went to the hotel to return the card to Adam. This baseball card was too precious. She couldn't accept. Look at this kind hearted inner girl. Adam was really vibrating. Eve was the first good person he met here. He followed Eve. Remember that she lost her job because of him. He was quick-witted. Why, helping me sell all my baseball cards and buying enough food and supplies to fill several large trucks. Food and supplies? Who for, like starving people? Oh, well, they're not starving yet, but they do need help. He offered an attractive salary of $1,000 a week. Eve was conquered by money. During the buying process, Adam also asked her, help him find a wife who wasn't a mutant. Eve didn't understand. Elsewhere the bored mother lived in the basement. She sneaked out. Who are you? I'm the mother. It's the mother! A crowd of people appeared. The mother panicked. Hurry down again. Under the help of Eve and friends. Adam perceived a broader side of this world. He cheered in the sea. Feel the miracle of nature in the rain. All were too miraculous. Eve took him to a party at night. Helped him find a wife. She thought this idiot wouldn't adapt. Unexpected whole evening. Adam was very popular. He spoke fluently with women by receiving French. Also could dance. All the women at the party were attracted to him. Eve was jealous. Until Adam went with another woman. In her heart very uncomfortable. Her friend said she loved him. Eve quickly denied. Grown men who collect baseball cards. Yes you do. Or 
pee in their pants when they see the ocean. Yes, you do. Or perfect table manners. She naturally wanted to defame Adam. Who expected her to say his strengths? Eve decided to go out to find Adam. He went home again. Oh, slip. Dot. He applied medicine for her. Eve finally became conscious. She had feelings for Adam. Not unrequited love. Eve just found herself in love with Adam. He said he wanted to take her down to live in the basement. This thought was too strange. Just like the pervert in Silence of the Sheep. Eve scared. Hurried to say goodnight. Got him out. The next day she called a psychiatrist. Adam ran away. Because he didn't want the police to shoot him and hurt him. She also prevented the doctor from alerting the police. Actually, in her heart she believed Adam. But she was too scared. The neurologist kept chasing after Adam. Want to hold him back. Adam hurried back to the basement. He bought enough furniture. He told Melcher to call him a saint. And his friends came to help. Dot. When Eve arrived at the warehouse Adam rented out. Furniture had been removed. Look at what Adam left at the hotel. A 1961 toothpaste. She felt more and more that she was misunderstanding Adam. She panicked slightly. She even found some. 1961 stocks in his luggage. She asked a friend who worked in finance. Those shares were worth millions. After knowing that Adam was a millionaire. She just congratulated herself. Love him before she knew he was rich. Adam said the truth. She decided to find Adam. They remembered Adam stopping in front of an adult bookstore. Maybe underneath the bookstore was the basement. They came in. Footsteps. Danced. The person next to them looked like a fool. Do you have a basement? Believe me, all the really good stuff is right up front. They couldn't find the basement. Eve wanted to give up. Unexpectedly on the way home. Fate still allowed them to continue to meet. Eve couldn't help but rush over. Hugged Adam. How long are you gonna set it for this time? I thought, 10 years. The mother was very helpless. Now Adam came back. Also brought a girl back. His parents were very happy. The mother took Eve to cook. Scientist again taught his son about strange sex. Adam asked his parents to install the door lock for two months. He and Eve went out for a while. During this two-month period, they exchanged a portion of stocks and baseball cards for money. Start planning to buy land. Also built a big house in the suburbs. Adam became a millionaire. After all was done, he picked up his parents from the basement to the mansion in the suburbs. Adam wanted to wait until he slowly took a liking to the life outside. Just told them the truth that there was no nuclear war. The mother was very happy. This is beautiful. It's not much different from a fallout shelter. The scientist still doubts everything. Never would war break out again. When mom was still immersed in this beautiful scene, the scientist again surreptitiously measured the size of the garden. He was about to build a larger shelter. I'm Raven. Please like and share to support me.